Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anish and today again I will solve another interesting question on OPAMS. So if you want more interesting questions like this, you can follow this series. In this playlist, I have covered all of the questions that may be asked in written test or uh, interviews. Okay, if you are preparing for analog VLSA domain. So if you want more questions like this, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. So in this question, the question is pretty simple. You have to find the summation of two voltages that is Vx and Vy that are the output of two op amps in the circuit below. Okay, so op amp is ideal except that they have provided us with saturation voltages. So how do we go along with this? So first of all, I'm saying this is in negative feedback. This op amp is in negative feedback and this op amp is also in negative feedback. So both are in negative feedback. That's fine. So we can apply virtual ground concept. So if I apply the virtual ground concept in the first op amp, what will happen? So if I just copy this circuit. So, uh, if virtual ground uh, concept is applicable, this will be one volt, okay, and uh, like this, both terminals uh, potential will be same. So this will be one volt, and if this is one volt, so I can apply the key CL at node this uh, whatever node node one. So KCL at node one will be one minus VX divided by five plus one minus two divided by two equals to zero. So VX will be equals to what? So Vx will be, if I just multiply 5, this will be plus 2.5 uh, minus 2.5 equals to 0. So your Vx will simply minus 1.5 volts, okay? So uh, Vx is minus 1.5 volts. What about Vy? So if I proceed here further, this is also ground. So this will be also ground. So if this is ground, so your uh, VI, VY will be what? VY will be, I don't know. Now the problem here is, what is the problem? The problem here is this OPAMP is telling that this VX node potential will be in minus 1.5 volts. And this OPAMP is telling that I am trying to apply virtual ground concept. So this will be in zero volts. So whom should I listen to now? Now, uh, whenever we apply virtual ground concept, right? We don't take care of this, but we should really that we can apply virtual ground concept only when the op amp is idle okay and it has not reached saturation and also the terminals of both the op amps are not fixed to some voltage right both of the op amps should not be fixed so if one of them is fixed that is fine but if both of the terminals of the op amp input terminals of the op amp are fixed that means it will act as a comparator not just uh, simple virtual ground uh, will not act right it will act as a comparator if both of the potentials are fixed and exactly that is happening in this case as one of the terminals is fixed here to what minus 1.5 volts and this terminal is fixed to zero volts so i will say both the input terminals of opam are fixed okay so both of them are terminals are fixed so what will happen basically it will act as a comparator will act as a comparator so if it acts as a comparator what will happen is that at this terminal i have potential of what minus 1.5 volt and this is uh, this is zero volts so i will say v non inverting is greater than v inverting hence it will v y will be plus v z and what is v z v z is 10 volts so it will be plus 10 volts okay so what will be my answer what will be my v x plus v y v x plus v y will be simply 10 minus 1.5 not like this minus 1.5 plus 10 equals to 8.5 volts okay so this will be the answer to my question so this is pretty simple if you want more questions like this don't forget to subscribe and follow this playlist and yeah i will see you in the next video thank you for watching